progress. I don't know. I, like, I can't even do the math on this. I'm not rich. I'm just like really disorganized, and I like the idea of using more than one wallet. Like I do not feel comfortable only using like Coinbase or only using Jax. I will literally use. I think I actually have 13 wallets, and that's where I like mitigate risk. Like if one wallet disappeared or I lost a private key or a backup or whatever, it's only that. At least it isn't the whole thing or the majority. So, like, for that, it's just really crazy. <laughs> I do the same thing. You know, it's, it's you know, all over or whatnot. I mean, Coinbase, I mainly use, hey, like, I'm selling. So, this is the money that's going here, and that's what I'm selling, and that's what I'm getting into fiat for. And uh, that's basically it. Everything else is, you know, hardware wallets. Definitely a big, uh, big investment for sure. Yeah, I definitely recommend a hardware wallet. Ooh, um, hey. Yeah, this is my podcast or YouTube show. I can do whatever I want. Uh, shameless plug. Description box below. Buy a hardware wallet. Use the link. Thank you. Um, what's your wallet of choice? What do you use hardware-wise? Trezor. That's so funny. Dude, I get stuck in this position all the time because I'm Ledger. I'm always going to be Ledger. Ledger, Ledger. Love Ledger. Um, I like Treasure, but it's just funny that like I'm Team Ledger for no reason. It just happened that way, and everybody I meet is Team Treasure. I don't know one other person It's like, yeah, Ledger. So it's awesome that, you know, I know that the people I'm friends with and talk to like Treasure because I've been thinking about buying one. Uh, I think it, it, the look of it, I think, turned me off. It looks like a diabetes blood tester. It's, like, it just looks weird. The thing that scares me with a Ledger is, you know, um, durability on it. So a little bit compared to Treasure, you know, it's kind of like a... I feel like I could drop it, kick it, you know, run it over with a vacuum, and it would still work. So, but hey, I mean, they if, got this if, guy, and I think the Ledger Nano S can run over. Me, you know, reach out to me. Uh, I'd gladly accept more. Oh, I could hook that up probably. I'll try to see what I can do. Get you in the Slack and talk to some of them. They're pretty good guys. Uh, I like it. And um, so you're right now. So one of your side things is like the mining and, and helping people mine. I think you said you started a YouTube channel and stuff. Uh, where can people find you and get information from you on such topics? I just started it. So there's no videos up yet, but you can add me. Um, I'm crypto Mac. That's M A A K. Um, my email address would be crypto Mac at gmail.com. So you can also reach out to me on that. Um, I'll have that on the description box below for you guys. Basically, uh, how, the, how the name came about, you know, I had a lot of people from Boston, you know, always talking to me, and uh, how they pronounce my name instead of Mark, they say Mac, and uh, I kind of just stuck at the time, and uh, that's how I became Crypto Mac. I like it. I like the origin of it. I like the Mac. I like Mac. I think I, I, my boss is from Boston, so like when I hear it, I just want to hear it in his voice, Mac. That's, that's, <laughs> I love it. You know, that's why I need to find me a... a girl from boston so if you're out there you know <laughs> the phillies hat my uh deter her man you gotta <laughs> the boston women are faithful to the sports <laughs> yeah. over there man it's hard um so besides youtube and the gmail do you um you want people to find you on facebook or twitter i can link that as well otherwise just the uh, youtube channel yeah i mean just email and uh and the youtube channel now what right will the now. channel be covering is it going to be mostly about like diy mining uh, mine, it's gonna, I'm basically gonna get in a bunch of stuff, um, you know, um, other affiliates and stuff like that, um, you know, if you're big into sports like I am, I'm, I'm playing on Bay and, uh, you know, doing a bunch of things with sports and, you know, podcasts and, and things of that nature, try to get in, uh, you know, there's no specific thing, you know, it's still kind of like, uh, hopefully the sports betting gets legalized, you know, throughout the United States, uh, you know, it's hey, IRS, you know, if you're still listening, you know, let's make this happen because there's a lot of tax revenue you can take from that instead of us crypto people. Mm -hmm. um, sure is. So, uh, you know, that's looking good from the people that I've been around. So hopefully that goes into positivity. So like I'm really big in the sports. Uh, it's played in my whole entire life. I'm big in the research in sports and, you know, sports, uh, betting i just wish i could make it to vegas more often um you know so that's kind of you know another aspect of things i'm, I'm looking into but you know it covers anything mining um you know whether it's exchange help uh lending bot help you know basically just a day-to-day -day, uh crypto and how to make money off crypto and you know good investments and you know basically you know similar things like that um, 
it's good not to really like pigeonhole your show with like you know oh this is all it's going to be about or anything so the idea that it, it you don't have the idea yet is probably the best idea because it'll naturally come it'll build you'll, your channel will end up building itself as you just do you and the people that want to view that will just show up like a lot of people are like i don't know what to do on my channel and i, I don't know the audience that i'm going to like attract like you will attract your own audience as i have you know luckily i found a a great audience and I think it's because of just me being me I haven't really tried anything it's just I do me and viewers come to me that like what I do so you know my advice to you would be don't try to talk to the audience just talk and let the audience listen oh uh, yeah I mean it's just the story of my life and how crypto's uh, you know changed my life for the better too and that's you know just my journey so people can either like my journey or you know absolutely hate my journey but either way it's my journey you know it's funny it's man fun ride. the haters are going to be there the most the people that love your journey might not be there as much as the people that are going to hate on it i i've kind of noticed that it's it's funny that the people that dislike some of the things i do or like some of the content they'll be like the first people like to be around or comment or like i'll get like a random thumbs down because they subscribed and have notifications turned on so like i kind of like the idea of people not liking my show because it's like it, it, it people like to hate more than they like to like, so yeah, I think trolls. I think that's yeah trolls. That's trolls just, are uh, you know I like feeding trolls you know <laughs> it's it's a it's a hobby of mine as well so I mean I I can uh, definitely feel that and you know I might catch a lot of heat you know with the whole crimson thing um, I did a bunch of us did when it first happened. Uh, you know, everyone in the back rooms coming at us. We were just employed there. You know, it's mm -hmm. it's like going into your own office and finding out your your work's closed. Like, hey, I just lost a job. You know, I had nothing to do with, you know, what happened. So for first like two months, uh, you know, a lot of people in the back rooms that we were friends with and everything and talked to on a daily basis. You know, they were yelling and screaming at us because you know, unfortunately, people lost money. But you know, we we weren't the owners of the company. We didn't see this coming. And, uh, you know, and I and I went out on uh, open air. You know, uh, Florida uh, newspaper contacted me. I gave them an article. Um, you know, they asked me a bunch of questions. I was open and honest with everything on there. And uh, you know, even someone else that worked there and uh, actually worked against to try to prove um, where the money went. You know, so it's like. It wasn't on our end, so I'm sure, you know, I may catch some heat, you know, based on that, but hey, like, I'm open and honest that, like, yes, I, I worked at Cripsy, like, that was there, um, but it helped me see things from both sides of the story as well, and I believe that's why I landed the job that I have now, because I have the experience as a support in a Bitcoin company, which is very rare, and especially now, everywhere is looking to hire, because there's so many tickets coming in that you can't. There's no way to keep up with them all, so everywhere needs uh, needs help. You know, if anyone has any support or uh, he needs a job or anything, I mean, it may be possible. So make sure you contact me on that as well. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Um, you know, you've helped me get an interview with something and tried getting it going. It didn't quite work out for me with what their personal needs were, but I appreciate you helping me. That was awesome, dude. And and I hope one day I can revisit that with them and go through another interview and hopefully accept their offer. Um, but yeah, so guys, definitely check out his YouTube channel, uh, reach out via email if you have any, you know, support, you know, uh, background, maybe you're looking to get back into that or in, move into crypto. Uh, is there anything that you wanted to touch on before we go or anything that you wanted to talk about maybe before we go? I think we pretty much covered everything, you know, it's, uh, it's been a good journey, you know, if you're, if you're looking at Bitcoin and you're seeing the price and, you know, you're, that's scaring you away, like, don't, don't be threatened by the price. You got to realize you can buy you know, 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 0 0.02, 0 0.0, so like there's, and just build it up. Hey, I'm going to put $5 away each week towards Bitcoin. So what you're saying well. is, what he's saying is, you don't have to buy a whole Bitcoin? No. You what? Don't have to buy a whole Get Bitcoin, out of town. You know, and it's, it's not too late. I have friends still today, hey, it's too late, man. I wish I would have got in when you said to buy it when it was 50 to $100 mm -hmm. and blah, blah, blah. Well, buying now or i said the same thing with ethereum and it's just like well you missed the train again you know now right now finally some people did get in involved with ethereum you know and they don't trade they don't do anything they literally just bought they made their profit and then got out or some of them actually still have them which is you know quite surprising they don't know how to send to wallet addresses or anything they just literally bought it and left it where it was and i told them to add to fa and they were good to go and they made money off of it so you know, it's never too late. Do what you got to do, and you know, definitely get some Bitcoin. 
Um, you know, definitely get some Litecoin. Um, Litecoin is that. It's being added to a bunch of places. I keep getting emails about it, so I'm sure the price will... Uh, Bitstamp just added it, dude. Will what? slowly start rising. I did get that email when I was sitting in the parking lot. So, uh, yeah, um, Litecoin, you know, it's, it, the transactions for Litecoin are a lot quicker. So. A lot quicker and a lot cheaper. That's why I really like... I use crypto. It's my only currency now. I ditched fiat. Like, first day, the day I get paid, I ditched fiat, use crypto, and Litecoin's the one I use because it's fast. It's cheap, and it had pretty good volatility since I've been getting in. Um, but I like to end my interviews with like a question that the podcast asks, but like my own little tweak. So take the time you need. But the question is, can you explain tech support in crypto, like how that is, in ten words or less? Like, what is tech support in crypto? It's frustrating, but it's amazing, um, basically, you know, because you're looking at it like, you know, someone else that, like, doesn't have a Bitcoin background, but has, like, tons of support, knowledge, and everything, uh, had asked me, like, what would make you want to even, like, jump into, you know, being support for something like this again after you've done it before, and I'm like, well... You know, it's it's a great job, but most importantly, I get to work with Bitcoin on a daily basis. Like, I don't think there's any other job I would want. Like, I've had jobs after Cripsy, and I was miserable at them. Like, I felt like I was spoiled, you know, doing Bitcoin as a living and getting paid for it. And, you know, I'm a boss to, you know, be back there and, and doing that. So I think... You know, that's basically what it comes down to. As hectic as it is, how many tickets and how many problems you have to solve. And, you know, you try to get as many done as possible because you, you understand the client side. You understand the frustration that, you know, money may be held up or, you know, you can't deposit or something's going on or you sent to the wrong wallet. You sent, you know, Bitcoin to a Dogecoin wallet. You know, a lot of things. Like, you feel for the customer themselves, but at the same time, like, it's frustrating because it's like, well, I got to get this done. I got to get this done. And, um, but at the end of the day, it's a Bitcoin job. Like, and you get paid in Bitcoin. Like I couldn't ask for anything better in this time and era pretty much. Yeah, it was a great answer. Way over the 10 minute or the 10.